So if an A-list celebrity gave you their personal phone number and told them to call you, what would you do with it? That is the question. And my dude is in this situation right now. And the problem is he doesn't know if she gave him her number because she was flirting or because she saw it as a business opportunity. And he feels like if he goes left or right, then it'll cancel out the other. Mm. Mm. And he doesn't want to blow this. And so I wish I could tell y'all who it is, but I don't want to blow this for him in any way. It's so an I, A-lister that everybody, you hear the name, you would immediately know who this person is. Absolutely. And even big, bigger than her is her circle. Like the circle of celebrities that she's known to run with. I'm talking about top of the top. Mm-hmm. Like top of the top. Tippity top top. Tippity top top. <laughs> So this weekend, um, I've spoken in the past about how my dad works for Russell Wilson and Sierra as their head of security. So Sierra was in town with Missy Elliott and Busta Rhymes for the Out of World concert. And so they reached out to me, threw me some tickets, told me to go have fun. And I got to hang out in some circles that I wouldn't normally be around. Okay. Which was, it was lit, right? (laughs) It was, I mean, I didn't expect it to be like this in this room we were in, but... It was a lot of celebrities in there. It was it was crazy. And so, of course, we're in there pretending like we belong, trying not to do nothing stupid. And my guy is, uh, he's very charming and brave to a certain point. Like, he'll he'll talk to anybody. He doesn't, he's not intimidated by the fact that you're a celebrity, A-list, B-list, whatever. But then I've noticed that when it comes time to close the deal... That's when the nerves set in, and then that's when he won't actually be himself anymore. Mm. All dudes have this friend. All of us have this guy that can get right there and just can't pitch the ninth. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly him. <laughs> yeah. So this has happened so many times in the past where he'll have like an interaction with someone like that, and then when we leave, it'll be like, okay, well, what happened? Did y'all y'all over there laughing and joking and smiling in the corner for thirty minutes? You didn't get you didn't exchange information. He'll be like, nah, I didn't I didn't really want to do that. So I kind of saw this pattern playing out again, and. Sure enough, like me, I'm kind of stay to myself when I'm in these circles. Unless somebody comes and talks to me, I don't want to go out my way to bother anybody. Not him. He'll bother everybody. He's talking to the whole room. <laughs> he don't care. So he ends up speaking to this lady. And before I know it, they started to like go into some of the people they knew, some of their background. They ended up being from the same place. There was a lot of similarities, not only in their past, but with some of the projects that the both of them are working on now. And I think... That she kind of let her guard down at that point. And the next thing I know, I walked away to go get something to drink and just let them have their one on one moment because it seemed to have been going really, really well. That one on one moment had to have gone for about 15 minutes, I would say. Mm -hmm. So he walks back over and I'm like, I'm looking at him like I didn't want to make it hot, you know, like, but I'm kind of I'm proud of him and I'm waiting for him to tell me what happened. So when he got a moment. He was like, yeah, man, we started talking about this and that. And she was like, maybe we could work on something. And like, let's get together. Maybe, you know, that, that type of thing. And I said, well, did y'all exchange numbers? So he's like, well, nah, not really. I just kind of walked away. So I'm like, why? And he's like, because I don't really think she's going to give me her information if I ask. And I'm like, bro, how do you know that? Unless you try. Like, you have to stop looking at her like she's this big celebrity. And just have a, you just had a human interaction with her. Who's to say, like, no one's out of your league. I don't believe in that. Like, you, you, you as high as you believe you are, mm. you can do whatever you believe you can. So I said, go ask her. What's the worst that can happen? She's going to say no. I'm sure you won't be the first or the last dude to ask for her number. Mm-hmm. So what I do know about her is she was married for quite some time, but famously she's not married anymore. And she's been speaking to, like, in her interviews and things of trying to navigate in this new world as a single woman. So I'm like, we know she's single. And, well, the guy she used to be married to, you might have to get your money up a little bit. But Mm -hmm. outside of that, take your shot. So he did. I encouraged him to go do it. He got a couple more drinks and he went over there and he asked. And I thought she would have gave him like, you know, maybe an Instagram we exchanged. No, she gave personal number. Oh, wow. Two personal numbers, actually. So he got a full number and like not her assistant, anything like that, her number. So now he comes back to me. (laughs) He's like, I kind of feel like she was flirting. And I said, well, see, you have to know, because Mm -hmm. if you go in with the like, I'm trying to date you energy Mm -hmm. and her mindset was business, then you might blow it. But if you go at her with the business energy and her mindset was dating, then you might be blowing an opportunity to actually talk to her. So to me, I'm like, you got to weigh the risk and the reward and figure out what you feel like is worth 
because I don't know what I would do in that situation. Mm-hmm. I feel Business like, can turn into pleasure. That's what I was uh-huh. thinking. That, so that's what I was thinking also is that. He could gently approach this on the business side, and it can turn into something more. But the riskier shot mm-hmm. is going in romantically because that will ruin business. It's harder to go hmm. from lovers to coworkers than from coworkers to lovers. That I makes feel, sense. Yeah, it's a harder I, switch. I think he's got to go meet her for drinks, but he's also got to be like a, a quarterback at the line of scrimmage looking at the defense, <laughs> and he might have to audible once he gets there based on what her reaction is. Yeah. But shoot your shot, dude. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Go in there for business and yep. be ready for yeah, the audible. Forget about authenticity, man. Use the business as camouflage for the romanticism. Say less. Okay. I like that. Yeah. The Burt Show.